All right, this is Dr. Michael Mueller, and today we are going to talk about the top 10 peptides, the top 10 peptides that can be game changers for your health and wellness, and uh, peptides that can not only help you to live better, but to help your body and muscles to be stronger, and your cognition and your mind to be sharper. And these peptides, folks, they're game changers, no doubt about it. And we're going to kind of address 10, 10 peptides that I think everyone should at least be knowledgeable about. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a peptide or a peptide-like compound that I think everybody should be on. So if you don't want to listen to the whole video, go to the last minute or two, and I will discuss this bonus peptide or peptide-like thing that I think everyone should take. And the first peptide on my list absolutely no doubt about it, is BPC-157. And this is one of the two peptides in the Wolverine protocol. And if you've missed my video on the Wolverine protocol, you should check it out. But what BPC-157 does so well is it helps with injury recovery and gut health. If you have a tendon issue, a knee issue, a shoulder issue, a joint issue, a muscle strain, no matter the injury, if it's musculoskeletal, BPC-157 could help you to recover from that injury. And not only will you recover, but it'll help the joint, hopefully, to be uh, even healthier after you take the, this peptide. In fact, uh, there's been studies with rats uh, where they severed the Achilles tendon of a, a group of rats, and they gave these rats BPC-157, and all of the tendons uh, that were injured, every Achilles tendon that was injured in the study, recovered when the rat was given BPC-157. Now, remember, you're not a rat, okay? And just because something worked on a rat, it doesn't mean it will work on a human, but there's a lot of other data to show that BPC-157 is beneficial. And BPC stands for Body Protection Compound. And again, this peptide is uh, famous uh, for helping the healing of tendons, ligaments, and muscles. And don't forget, folks, it also helps with leaky gut. A lot of um, wellness centers around the gut and gut health, and oral BPC-157 will help people who have inflammatory issues in the GI system uh, and leaky gut and other things. So BPC-157 is number one on the list, and number two is the combination peptide protocol of CJC-1295 and Ipamorelin. And this is kind of the gold standard stack for peptides that help you to release more growth hormone. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you take this peptide, it will cause your pituitary gland to release a little extra growth hormone. And what does that do for you? Well, it helps increase lean muscle mass. It helps your body to burn fat and it helps you to sleep. Now, if you're new to my channel, hit the like button and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. But if you are new to following me, then you know that I feel sleep is extremely important. I think if you have body fat, you need to get rid of it. All of the data shows it is unhealthy for you. And I also will tell you, you know, whether you're my patient or you have, whether you're someone simply watching this video, that if you want to live a longer and healthier life, you have to maintain lean muscle mass. So CJC-1295 and Ipamorelin are wonderful for these things, and they are typically paired together. And again, how do they work? Well, they signal your pituitary gland to release pulses of growth hormone, uh, and this helps with youthfulness, and it helps with recovery. Um, and, and again, it'll help to burn fat and it'll help to build lean muscle. Now, those are the first two, but don't forget, I am a physician. I trained at the Mayo Clinic um, in family medicine. I've been doing longevity and wellness medicine for over 20 years, but I'm not your physician. So none of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice, please see a physician. And I would advise everyone to not take any peptides without consulting with a doctor. So many peptides are still... Um, uh, early, meaning they still need to be investigated thoroughly. So please be sure to see a doctor before starting any of these. Now, number three on the list, folks, and this one is the fat burner. It's known as the visceral fat burner. In fact, it's got FDA approval uh, for the fat burning indication, meaning that stubborn belly fat that's behind the muscle wall. We call that visceral fat. Tezamorelin, T-E-S-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N, is ideal for burning that body fat. And again, this one is FDA approved and it is the top peptide of all the peptides 
for getting rid of visceral fat, in my opinion. And a lot of uh, bodybuilders and things will use this because it also helps you to maintain muscle mass, right? Because it uh, helps stimulate growth hormone a bit. And uh, it also helps to burn fat. So if you want to get a nice cut, if you want to get the six pack uh, in the abs, tezamorelin is the peptide for that. Now, the ultimate weight loss peptide, in my opinion, is terzepatide, T-I-R-Z-E-P-A-T-I-D-E. And this one, folks, this is the metabolic master. I use this in my clinic for weight loss. I use all of these peptides in my clinic. Um, but terzepatide works wonderfully for weight loss. Uh, the name brand on that is Mount Jaro. Um, and the original uh, peptide for weight loss was semaglutide. And then we have terzepatide. And then the new one that is coming out soon is retitrutide. If you missed my video on retitrutide, check it out. But if you want to lose weight, if that is your New Year's goal, okay, then terzepatide is the medication you should use. Now, don't forget, folks, I tell my patients all the time, we don't even look at these medicines, terzepatide specifically, as weight loss meds only. We look at these things as wellness meds because not only will they help you to lose weight, but they will help to lower your risk for stroke. They will decrease your risk for heart attack. They decrease plaque buildup in your arteries. It helps with diabetes. It helps. There's some data showing it may help prevent dementia or cognitive decline. Uh, it's already has an indication for sleep apnea. These things do wonderful things throughout your body. So if you just want to live a healthier life and cut a little bit of weight, terzepatide is the peptide. And we call this one the metabolic master because of all of the beautiful things it does in a person's body. And I love my patients and I love life. And if you want to live a healthy life, folks, you have to lose weight. You have to exercise more. You have to get rid of bad habits. And you need to wake up each day with a positive attitude because in essence, your life is your choice. And if you want to live a healthy life, then you have to choose to do just that. So again, follow this channel, follow other doctors uh, with channels that can help you to learn and become knowledgeable because the more knowledgeable you are, the more healthy you can become. And number five on the list of these top peptides is MOTS, M-O-T-S dash C. And this is the exercise mimetic peptide. What it does is it enhances endurance and metabolic flexibility. I'm a big fan of this one. And I also love it because it helps with mitochondrial health. If you've missed my videos on mitochondrial health, you should check those out. Because if you want a healthy body, if you want a healthy mind, if you want longevity, you have to keep the cells healthy. And cellular health begins uh, at the mitochondrial level, where ATP is produced for energy, and MOTC helps to improve mitochondrial health. And what this does is it tells your cells to act like they are exercising. And, and what that does is it boosts ATP production, which is the energy source for all cellular activity in your body. That's adenosine triphosphate. And it helps your body to switch between burning to, to it kind of allows your body to burn fat efficiently as a source of energy. So MOTC is a good one. I absolutely love it. And number six on the list is TB500. And again, this one is often coupled with BPC157 to create the Wolverine stack. And what this does is it speeds up recovery from intense training and it helps you to heal from injuries. So remember, BPC-157 is great for structural healing, but what TB-500 does is it reduces inflammation, it helps with recovery of any damaged connective tissue, tendons, etc., and it basically just gets your body a little healthier and kind of oils your body to get things moving along smoother. So a lot of my athletes, a lot of my high performers, they love the combination of BPC-157 and TB-500. And number seven on the list, folks, if you want beautiful skin, if you want increased skin elasticity, if you want decreased wrinkles, right? If you want better hair, GHK copper, GHK-CU, this is the longevity and skin copper peptide. And this one is uh, been used in creams and topicals, and there's an injectable form. I'm a fan of all forms because this particular peptide promotes collagen production and collagen remodeling, 
which helps to look this make the skin look younger. So this one is top notch. It's one of the best for skin. And again, there's a lot of data to show that it can also help your hair to get thicker and even regrow. Now, if you missed my video on epitalin, folks, you should check it out because we're going to chat about that. That's number eight, and that's the longevity clock peptide. And what this does is it helps with anti-aging and it helps with regulating the circadian rhythm. I don't know how much you know, okay, about DNA, but at the, at the telomeres are the caps on the end of your DNA. And what epitalin does is it allows those telomeres to elongate. And the data has shown that when telomeres elongate, people and animals live longer, okay? So epitalin elongates the telomeres, which is the caps on the DNA, and this kind of resets your biological clock and it makes your cells healthier. And again, if you make the cells healthier, then you make the person healthier. So this one helps with sleep, it helps with the circadian rhythm, and it helps to kind of reset your DNA, right? to extend the telomeres to hypothetically extend your life. So if you missed my video on epitalin, please check it out. There's more details in that video about this specific peptide. And number nine on the list is thymosin alpha-1. I'm a big fan of this one too. And this helps with injury recovery. It helps with recovering from illness and it helps boost your immune system which hypothetically should help you to fight all types of things, right? So I'm a big fan of thymosin alpha-1. And uh, again, this one's an immune system modulator. Athletes use it to prevent overtraining, uh, immune crashes, um, and to recover from uh, aggressive and um, excessive training uh, protocols that they might be involved with. So I'm a big fan of it. Please check it out. Now we have number 10 coming up, and this one is kind of the intimacy peptide. I like this one. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, and it's great for relationships because this one is the Vitality Booster and it is PT141. And this one is excellent for libido and sexual wellness. It can help men with erectile dysfunction. It can increase your desire for intimacy. And this one actually has an FDA approval for low libido in women, but it also helps men uh, who need a little boost in their libido and their ability to perform, okay? And this one's different than Viagra and Cialis and a lot of those other things that are out there because it works centrally in the brain to increase your desire for that wonderful, intimate moment. So uh, PT141 works directly on the nervous system to boost desire and vitality. It's uh, often included in many wellness protocols to enhance your quality of life. And there is some data to show that it actually kind of helps after you've trained hard and things like that with recovery. And interestingly, it has a kind of a sister peptide that work, does similar things called melanotan, M-E-L-A-N-O-T-A-N, that also helps you to tan, meaning uh, if you want to get a nice bronze dark tan, you could use melanotan. And again, this is another peptide before going out in the sun, and it will cause you to tan and it also helps boost libido and um, you know your drive for intimacy. So those are the top 10 peptides. There's one more I love, and that's Sermorelin, number 11, S-E-R-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this one, again, helps to uh, uh, allows your body to release a little extra growth hormone while you're sleeping. It helps to improve your sleep-wake cycle and get you to deep sleep, and it improves your overall vitality. Because it is a growth, horn stim growth hormone stimulator, okay, it does a lot of things around the body to help you be healthier. It may increase muscle mass, it decreases body fat, it helps with inflammation and various other things. So it's excellent for mimicking the body's natural nighttime pulse of uh, growth hormone, and this improves sleep quality, it helps with muscle tone, and it just does a lot of other good things. Now, I told you there would be a bonus peptide-ish type um, conversation at the end of the video. And the thing that I think everyone should take, and I'm a big fan of this, and it's really not a peptide, it's a coenzyme, but I think everybody on the planet, okay, should use NAD, okay? That's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And even though this isn't a peptide, it's often used with peptides because it allows peptides to work better 
if you have a, a large amount of NAD in your system. So it's a vital coenzyme that's found in every cell. It's the electricity for your mitochondria. And what it does is it allows your cells mitochondria to produce energy more efficiently. And I use NAD in my clinic for wellness. I think everybody on the planet should use it. And um, I, I use it for people for chronic fatigue and that type of thing. And we use it along with peptides because it works synergistically with peptides to improve your overall health. And unfortunately, as we age, NAD levels decline, which is why as you get older, you may need more NAD uh, you know, for cellular health and for anti-aging and for longevity and for energy. Okay, so if you've missed my videos on NAD, please check those out. So folks, that is it. Those are the top peptides I love. I love NAD, which is why I decided to skip to discuss that at the end of this video. If you follow my channel, we're going to learn a lot over the next couple of years about peptides, and I'm going to do all I can to help you improve your health. But again, if you need uh, medical assistance, if you do decide to start a peptide, please see a doctor. That's it. Have a good day. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Bye.